안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남이입니다. Hi, out. Hi, it's Nami. Today I am going to be doing my makeup for the first time since I've gotten my eyelash extensions. That is my rice cooker. I'm cooking rice. When you get eyelash extensions done, you want to make sure that you... Hold on, it's a little bright. You can't get water on your eyelash extensions in the first 24 to 48 hours. So I didn't wear any makeup during that time. Except for like throwing on some lip tint and blush. So... It's actually been like a really long time since I've also worn a full face of makeup or like just foundation too. I've kind of just been sticking to powder foundations just because they're easier to get off and easier to apply. But today I wanted to wear some foundation, do a full face. Just like it's a full effect of the lashes, I guess. Lashes are nice because if you have eyelash extensions, you don't really have to do as much makeup but then at the same time if you do do your makeup they make them look nice anyways anyways <laughs> they're nice without makeup and they're nice with makeup i don't need much on my forehead so i'll just do the center of my forehead and a little bit above my brows i don't really like removing the makeup from my hairline so i'm just gonna blend it kind of downwards and before i powder my face i'm actually going to contour my nose because my foundation is cream and so is this contour stick I'm going to blend it while both are still cream if I set my face first it's gonna turn blotchy because the cream is not going to blend well on top of the powder Ooh, I'm just kind of blending side to side and also down where I want it to soften into I'm gonna take a clean finger where I Want to remove any of the product that I find is hitting areas I don't want it to. Oh, looks good, man. <laughs> my nose, my nose exists. <laughs> and then I'll throw some powder, hitting the areas that crease the most first or get oiliest the most. While the lashes just make like it looks like I don't need anything else, but I am going to do a full face so. I'll just kind of apply my highlight. This one is a peachy highlight. So it's also going to add a little bit of a flush as well. Or base for a flush. I'm going to just highlight my nose real gentle as well. Just a bridge of my nose. Bring it up a bit and bring it down a bit. And I rest on my cupid's bow. Bit of contour, I always start in my sideburn and then bring it forward towards my nasal fold. You never want to go down to your mouth because that's not where your bone sits. Your bone, if you poke your face, your bone ends here. It does not go into here. So if you contour towards your mouth, you're going to end up looking hungry. Instead, you want to accentuate the bone because that's what makeup is. It's for accentuating your facial features and structures, not for looking hungry. My jaw, just, just a tad bit here. Now for the fun part, I'm going to do my eyes, but I'm not going to actually put any eyeshadow primer. I'm only going to place like a wash of this pink on the base of my lid. When I blend, I'm going to slowly pull up the brush towards the area I want it to soften into. Placing it first where I want the deepest of the color and then whatever's left on my brush, I'm just pulling it into where I want it to soften. Just gonna throw a little bit of this on the underneath and set the underneath with my powder because here if it's sticky it's actually gonna grab any eyeliner that I put on I'm gonna throw on a little bit of golden shimmer just to the eyeball I don't know if it'll even show up that well with the brush I just want it to be a soft look anyway I'm using my highlighter that I used on the bridge of my nose on my inner corners as well now they say that you should avoid wearing eyeliner 
when you do your eyelash extensions or if you do wear eyeliner you should use oil free eyeliner i think what i'll choose to do is use a shadow it's dark brown i'm just gonna line without actually using an eyeliner just to deepen that area but then later i don't have to really worry about having to scrub or remove the eyeliner now i've done some research on google about curling lashes they say that you shouldn't really um curl your lashes with the mechanical curler because the eyelash extensions have a natural curl to them however if you look at my eye straight this eye sits lower because the crease on the inside of the eye is not as large so when i relax my eyes this eye does sit lower which causes the skin to sit lower which causes the lashes to sit lower so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to curl my right side eyelashes just a bit so that the center of the lashes actually show above my eye line you can see you see none of the lashes past two-thirds way of my eye but here you can see the lashes sticking out above my eye i'm gonna try to be really careful when i do this though because i want to make sure that all the lashes are in line first before i go in hold i'm gonna try not to blink either during this time so it doesn't pull my lashes and there we go and then i'll just fill in my brows So this is the final look. I really like my eyelash extensions. Um, they make me feel like they take the they take the difficulty out of applying lashes. But I still feel like I still have to kind of adjust them to um, my my eyes' lack of symmetry. But I really like them because I'm able to you know not have to do so much makeup to achieve like kind of a more full face. I am planning to make more makeup videos as well. So if you have any suggestions or ideas or requests, please let me know down below because that would be super helpful. I haven't been doing makeup videos in a really long time, so I'm not really sure like where I should start. If I should just do get ready with me's, what kind of tutorials you'd want to see. My tutorials are kind of like boring and they're, I feel like they're always the same kind of tips, but any feedback would be super helpful. So. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so that I can see that you liked it. If you didn't, you can go ahead and leave a thumbs down so we can see if there are any areas that we can improve on. I also post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, so I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use. And that's it, so we'll see you next time. Bye!